how much revenue are the NHL getting now that Fanatics are the on ice supplier for the NHL? I know that. Pain. Um, pain. Huh? Pardon me? I just said pain. That's oh. all. I'm just I'm, I'm staring gonna... at the floor and saying pain. <laughs> I was going to say, they're not making enough to get me in a, in a Fanatics top. I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> Listen, yeah, if we're talking tops, because I own a top, no. Uh, because I've, I've told these guys before, I have a, I have a JT, um, dr- uh, not, like a jersey, a shirt with his name on the back, yada, yada. Uh, and uh, the Leafs logo isn't even centered on it. It's like <laughs> slightly to the left. I don't know if it's maybe maybe it's my body, bro. I don't know. The shirt, I, every other shirt is fine, so I think I'm I'm cool with saying it's not me. Um, listen, it's a little disappointing what's happened. Just um, because we were forecasting this on our podcast, I think this might have been on our first episode. It had to have been in within the like first three, um, because we care about jerseys. At that point, there's all the reverse retro 2.0 hoopla, and we're like, guys, this is great. But what does the future of the jersey scene look like? And we projected like what brands might come in, and we didn't necessarily agree on who the best would be. But it's fair to, to say that we agreed on who we didn't want, and that's who we end up with. Fanatics. Yeah, it's it's disappointed. Um, they were disappointing. Just uh, looking at the fanatics products that are out there right now, specific to jerseys, they're not up to snuff. If you're asking me. They, they sell right now not the authentic, um, highest model of jersey. That's still, that's Adidas right now. But they have, like, um, they have their breakaway jersey, I believe what it's called. And that's, like, their, their, their mid-range jersey. It's a cheaper one. Maybe you're, you're just a casual fan, and that's what you, you could gravitate towards. But just compared to, like, the Reebok era, where that wasn't an option, or at least if it was, it was not as low quality. Yeah, it's, it's not going to swallow, especially a 10-year deal. Like, how long did we have Adidas? Um, I think going back to 20... I think it's five years. Uh, right? Five years or six years. Five years? Okay, so six years with next year. So we're talking almost double that, right? Um, yeah, what do, you, what do you guys think about this? Did you have a take? I mean, listen. Uh, so so one one thing that I heard... So I'm not like, I'm not like Christian and Brian in here where like the the fan apparel side of things just it's never really been anything that like i've looked into but one takeaway i found is like how fanatics is like the they they are the ea sports of sports apparel so for it's not a good thing by the way no like <laughs> what that's not a good thing by the way no it's it's awful like so so here's the thing so for any, anybody who's like unaware so ea sports basically has a monopoly on all licensed sports video games uh so they have uh, FIFA, NHL, and Madden. They don't have rights to MLB because Sony makes the show. And it clearly shows because MLB The Show is probably the best bang for your buck video game, licensed video game that you can get out there. Um, they, it, to me, it's, it feels like, like fanatics, like, like they're in terms of quality control and stuff, like they just don't care. They're just so big. It's they, there's a reason why everybody's calling them the Amazon of of sportswear, right? Um, or they're trying to become the Amazon of all sports. It, it seems like because their owners got into uh, trading cards now as well. So so he's trying to just corner every market, but they 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 prefer. It seems like they prefer like the quantity over the quality. They don't really care about that stuff. So, so in the case of your jersey, your jersey, and amongst so many other examples that that we saw, like on Twitter, uh, you know, things being misspelled, things being off centered, and and you can't even get in contact with them. Like I, I've heard people say, like it would take a month for them to even respond to an email. Like who wants to deal with that type of stuff? You might as well just suck up. It's like you might as well just suck up your you know, a hundred dollars that you dropped into a, your your breakaway jersey and just call it a day. Like, how are you running a company like that? But the one thing I'll have to I will say on this front is this is the first time that Fanatics will be on um will be the official sponsor for um like the on ice apparel. So they have uh they have a contract with the MLB. They make all the MLB 
on field equipment, like all the the under the undergar the underwear, the um uh the jerseys the jersey and itself. Yeah. Everything. Yeah, they do, right? And then they all they do is just slap the Nike logo on it. And I've never really heard any complaints from you know any of the players like they nobody's ever said like oh you know like we've never got anything or at least outwards right uh so maybe there's hope like there's hope that the on ice um apparel is going to work smoothly they're taking over the uh, the uh the factory that Adidas was running out of yeah so um so so if anything drastic's going to happen it probably won't happen for let's say half a decade right maybe five years we won't see any effect but i don't think that's where the complaints coming from like fanatic just fanatics just kind of uses their the the sports fan as like a cash cow because it's like we don't need to put out the highest quality uh terms of like materials because we know at the end of the day where else are they going to get their licensed products from like we've got they've got all the licensing right so i don't know it's not looking bright compared compared to when we heard nike was supposedly in talks or like that's who the nhl was eyeing up i i believe i forget what the what what we said on that on that episode i don't even remember who we agreed upon to be like you know ideal like the ideal candidate but it certainly was in fanatics i think fanatics was please god keep us away from them uh and it happened it so seems to me, that's always good it seems to me like um the reason that they got to steal was because they had established relations with the nhl batman michael rubin made that very clear on the cnbc interview that they did um i found it, I found it interesting how Gary Batman didn't really want to step on Adidas's toes. You guys should watch the interview, but like he basically said, Adidas is a great partner. They're just not focused on hockey. They're focused on soccer and shoes, which is not us. Makes sense, right? Well, it's clear, right? Like yeah. that's where they make that's where they make a lot of their revenue from. They're not going to make it off of authentic jersey sales. Yes, uh, for the NHL, the biggest markup is um with fanware, right? Because you can sell a T-shirt for like forty bucks when it costs like I don't know, generously eight bucks to make, right? Um. But that's the thing. Obviously, Adidas wasn't making the fanware. That was Fanatics. I also think that it's tough for us to put a definitive answer on the jerseys right now because what I think is going to happen is they're just going to use the Adidas leftovers or the Adidas models, just slap the Fanatics logo on the back. That's it. Well, that's apparently the game plan. It's already been publicized as the game plan for their first season. So that would be 24-25. Possibly also 25-26. I think they were saying don't expect major changes in jersey design itself until 26-27. So that's when Fanatics might come around and say, okay, we're going to do some color stuff. We're going to try some different materials. They were talking about stuff like safety integrated into the sleeves of the jersey and like cut resistant, that type of stuff. Trust sounds fine and dandy. And I will say, um, all the criticism that we're giving them, we do, we do at least have to see it in action, right? So... Um, it's just uh, the optics are obviously bad right now. We do have to see the product itself when it comes out in two years, and that could definitely sway our opinion in a different direction. Going back to some of the stuff Dave was talking about, um, whether it's the MLB and how everything is made by Fanatics, but you have the Nike logo slapped on. Someone who has a Jays jersey, a Nike branded Jays jersey, uh, I don't really have any qualms with that jersey. Um, I haven't worn it in a while. Going to be breaking that out probably in the next couple of weeks. Your Jays get rolling again this week. But um, yeah, as far as I could tell, it seemed all right to me. Um, but they've made another comparison. You, you talked about EA. And if we look at EA NHL versus, versus uh, FIFA or NFL, we can totally agree that the NHL product is worse than those two games. Whether it's graphics, everything... Because it doesn't make as much money. And I think you can make that same parallel when it comes to those leagues and the NHL. MLB is going to get a lot more money for Fanatics and Nike than NHL will. And I'm worried that we're going to see that, that type of um, that reflects in the material of the jersey. So where the MLB jersey might be fine and dandy with the Nike branding, we might not see the same results with the, with the NHL because... Um, 
they just don't make as much money right now. So that's that's where the so, worry comes from. I have one 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 point to add on to that, Christian. So so the one thing that does give me a little bit of pause is that because this is um, the first time Fanatics is venturing into this like thing on their own, right? Like this is a big step for them. So. I think we could all safely agree that the NHL is probably like of the four major North American sports is probably the fourth ranked. Um, so I, I feel like this is the fanatics trial run, right? If fanatics works out with the NHL there, I, I, oh, I no. honestly feel, I honestly feel they're going to use this as they're going to use the NHL as a stepping stone to get to the next echelon. Because if you look at, I think the NBA is is the cream of the crop. That's yeah. the pinnacle for I don't for see them touching the NBA apparel. right now. Pardon? I feel like I, I don't I don't see them going to the NBA because yeah no like, I think and like basketball culture hundred percent reigned with Nike and Jordan. Every other yeah. league though, like totally totally, I can yeah. see a time where Fanatics is the logo on the MLB jersey, the the NFL jersey. The MLS sure. is another one where I could see too. Right? Mm -hmm. That seems like it is yeah. like decent. So, but that's what I mean. Like, like, let's say they have a really good, good trial run. Like, I'm not going to say in 10 years, the NBA is going to be like, oh, wow, look at what fanatics did with the NHL guys. I, we got to switch to them. No, that's not what I'm saying. But what I am saying is maybe fanatics will give the other leagues a little bit more, you know, a little bit more to think about when their next like contracts are coming up. And, uh, you know, may, maybe the like this is just the catalyst for for fanatics to you know go super supernova, become one of those. You know, we we think of sportswear, sports apparel, sports anything. Nike and Adidas are the two names that will always come up, and it doesn't matter. You go like across the world, you'll find shops everywhere. You'll find people wearing their branded items, right? So so maybe now this is going to be the step for fanatics to take. To become something on that level. It seems like it's just a building block so. for the next step. Yeah. And Yeah, like I hope they prove us wrong. But it's a I building, hope so too. But it's also a building block towards a monopoly that we know that they're gonna go yeah. for. And I don't know, maybe this is foreshadowing a current situation. Maybe this is foreshadowing a situation that could happen in the future. I'm not Nostradamus, but I don't know. We'll figure no, it out. I later. thought you were. <laughs> <laughs>